Good day everyone. Today we are going to focus on our new topic this is Sacred class which is entitled Jesus and His Sacraments. So class at the end of our lesson we should be able to explain that sacraments are effective signs of grace and trust in the church to express willingness to help others encounter Jesus in the sacraments and to pray and thank Jesus for His presence in the sacraments. So let us now proceed in our discussion. So, before Jesus ascended into heaven, He promised us that He would be with us always until the end of time. And He asked His apostles to continue His work and make His presence felt among the people of God. Now, the church continues the work of the apostles and makes Jesus' presence felt through signs, words, and actions through the seven sacraments. Again, seven sacraments. So, through Jesus, the love of God for His people becomes more visible. They follow. They see God whenever they see Jesus and they hear God whenever they hear Jesus. So, we believe that when we receive the sacraments, we encounter Jesus. After all, these sacraments are what He did when He was doing His public ministry. So the sacraments are effective signs of grace instituted by Jesus Christ to make us alive and active members of the church. So class the sacraments are categorized or grouped into three so that we will be able to understand and also memorize these sacraments. So the first one class is the sacraments of Christian initiation, which is composed of baptism, confirmation, and Eucharist. The second one is the sacraments of healing and forgiveness, which is of reconciliation and admitting of the sick. And the last one is the sacraments of service and communion, which focuses on matrimony and holy orders. So class, the first one is baptism, wherein we are freed from the original sin and and we are made members of the God's family. Next, confirmation. We receive the gifts of the Holy Spirit to make us strong to defend our Christian faith. Next, the Holy Eucharist. We are nourished spiritually by the body and blood of Christ. Reconciliation. We receive God's forgiveness for our sins and we are reconciled to the members of the church. The anointing of the sick, we receive Christ's compassionate, loving, and healing when we are sick, not in a medical sense, but in a holistic care that touches our body and soul and help us to be ready to meet God. Holy believers, those who are called to the priesthood will continue the mission of Jesus Christ through his apostles and matrimony, the bride and the bridegroom are given the grace to love with each other with the love with which Christ has loved his church. So class when we receive the sacraments willingly and freely with our own faith, we should be ready to be a sacrament or a sign of Jesus' love to others. That's why every time we celebrate the sacraments, God directly touches us with grace. We make this event alive and real through the rituals in the church officiated by the priests who are God's ministers. So class, kindly get your notebook, your book and your pencil and or pen and kindly answer the activity found in Enhancing Our Faith, page 119. Don't worry class, you can finish this activity after watching this video. So class, I hope you've learned something today and class, this is very helpful to you since you are preparing for the sacrament of confirmation once everything is okay so i hope class that this lesson will be helpful for you as you are being catechized especially in your preparation for the sacrament of confirmation so with that class i hope that you have learned something today and see you on our next meeting have a nice day